Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the show. Now, if you guys remember, last week, meaning uh, last episode, last Sunday, we did a live stream like we do every Sunday, and we were in the country of Georgia. And if you remember, I made a promise to you all. In fact, I think it was a guarantee that my back would be fixed and I would be strong and vibrant and full of vitality. I'm sorry I lied to you. But uh, my back is better than it was, although I'm still not 100% fixed. Mm. Uh, I am doing some exercises, not lifting weights, obviously, but yoga. Yvonne is putting me through her yoga expertise and some... I don't know what you call stretching. So my back is better than it was, but not fixed. I will hope that next week on our live stream, I'm back in action. I can walk around fine. You guys saw me going to hockey games. By the way, the Finnish hockey game, fun experience. And the views did very well on YouTube. Yeah. And so we're going to another game in two or three hours. So this live stream will not be too long. It'll be like an hour, maybe an hour and a half. But 5 p.m. local time, uh, meaning in four hours, the game starts. And we want to get down there, have a beer in the stadium, and do all that jazz. So thanks for joining, everybody. We had a nice apartment here, which you saw in our... Um, arrival video. Arrival video. We love this apartment. We've been watching uh, this big screen TV over here, which I showed you before. But... Uh, oh, wrong button. They, they changed the interface of uh, live stream. This is the button now. Big TV. Come on, guys. Love it. And so we've been enjoying our time in Finland. It's been a little bit snowy. One of the comments said it was a snowstorm last night, yeah. which is pretty interesting here. And so we haven't done too much outside. We filmed a lot of indoor stuff, food stuff. Uh, you saw the supermarket stuff and some other things coming soon. But hopefully tomorrow, which is Monday, the weather looks like it's good. 80% mm -hmm. sunshine. And then we'll go do our first impressions of Finland slash Helsinki, which should be a good video. We've got a lot of ideas to do stuff. There's a lot to do in Helsinki, honestly. Yeah. We got the sauna. We got the harbor. We got some history stuff. Uh, we'll be... We'll be a good video. So let's chill for an hour, guys. We got some JetFam questions. Maybe we'll start with JetFam. Sure, say hello to everyone. First, answer the questions. Sure, sure, sure. What's up, everybody? <laughs> hey, guys. Hope you're enjoying Finland. Any plans to come up north? Ivana is a plan maker. We have some plans we will reveal in this... Live stream. We're not 100% sure yet. We're still going yeah. with the flow in Finland. We know we'll probably be in Helsinki for at least five, six more days. Yeah. Well, we bought another ticket for a hockey game. Yeah, on playoff. the 22nd. Yeah. For the Helsinki team. What is it? ISF? Uh, IFK. IFK. So we got the game tonight is Joker it, and mm -hmm. the game on, I guess, Tuesday is IFK. And then after that, we'll probably move on from Helsinki. So, we, yeah, we got... Three, four more days in Helsinki. Not sure where we're going yet. We want to go to Tampier. Everyone's recommending Tampier hockey best. Mm -hmm. But we'll see. Um, I also want to go to Latvia, which is the wrong direction from Tampier. <laughs> so we'll see what we get up to. Uh, more vlogs to come. We had snow raining sideways yesterday here at the West Coast. I can't remember. Yeah, it's snowing outside. The ground is all white. So it's going to be... Uh, it's going to be a little bit of winter here. I guess it's not spring yet. Yeah. March 21st is spring, so it's still winter. Hey, guys. Uh, happy St. Paddy's Day from Ireland. Uh -oh. Wow, Liam Smith. Good one. Is this happy a crazy today? Happy St. Patrick's Day. I guess so. Wow, we should have some green beer, Ivana. <laughs> we should have worn green. I should have worn some green. It's negative 10 here in Rovaniemi. Wow. Tampere is pronounced differently. Oh, I'm saying wrong. What else is new? Tampere? Hey, Stevana from Zaki. We got Christian. If you guys want to have a green name, pretty hot item, these green names, you can join our membership program. It's so helpful to us. Please join. Happy St. Patty's Day, says Zaki. We got Unicorn in the chat. Our best fan from Serbia, says Steve. Ivana, Jet Fam. The best. Okay, maybe we'll start off the live stream with um, some Jet Fam questions. We got maybe three or four this week. Yeah. Can I borrow the phone, the lovely Ivana? Yeah. And then we can do the Jeff Someone is questions. asking, did you like Tbilisi? Did you like Tbilisi? Yeah, we liked it quite a lot, actually. It's an interesting vibe of a city. It's so totally unique. Um, I guess you saw the first impressions video where it looks like it's very historic and yeah. unrenovated in the streets. It's a nice city. And then they have the fort on top of the hill with the cable car up top. We had a good time in Tbilisi. And the value of prices was really good there. We yes. also got a great apartment. I mean, less than half of the price here. Yeah, Although, was... what we got here, people are saying we got a deal here. It's a good, well. it's a good apartment. So, 
<clears throat> yeah. I mean, it's a huge apartment. It's got <laughs> everything you could want. Although its ability was less than half the price. Uh, shout out to Andre D, Hello, my Andre. Duolingo brother. How's the back, says Zaki? Getting better, but not perfect yet. Still, yes. still improving. Recovering. Still healing. <laughs> Let me get to some Jet Fam questions because um, <clears throat> I think there were like four or five this week, and we're trying to get this phenomenon sticking around. It is. It is working to some degree. The Jet Fam questions. <laughs> Mostly it's from Tom. Mostly it's one guy. <laughs> but I got things going for my mom too. So it's Tom and my mom, I guess. Tom and my mom. Uh, we have people already ask questions on the, on the, uh, on the live. So. Yeah, true. Um, we are definitely going to need the Jeff Ham question. We need a video of you trying multiple different salmiakis. Salmiaki is that black licorice snack. Yeah. Now, from what I understand, the American black licorice is different... Then they finish black licorice. Right. And then salmiaki. Oh, we should have bought it and try it. We should have bought it and get and then And then the salmiaki is different again from the regular finished black licorice. Mm. So we got a lot of recommendations saying um, try Very different much. snacks. So maybe we'll try and put a community post up and get finished people to write in what snacks to try. Oh, okay. Because a lot of people said, dude, you should try all the finished products. Like the, sure. the drink that I tried, I got the wrong flavor evidently. Uh, some salmiakis and some more stuff. So if you're finished and you're watching this, let us know what snacks to try. Yeah. Watched your supermarket video yesterday and I was surprised that cheese and coffee are so expensive in Canada. Yeah, the coffee in yeah. Finland is an unbelievable price. And it's so funny that coffee, the brand is called Extra. At least 10 people wrote in saying that stuff is so bad. <laughs> but the price is unbelievable. For it, to, for it to be fully developed in like a rich country and that coffee was like 3 euros and people for half a kilo. Same and everyone said, expensive. like, do not buy it. People are writing in, it's trash water. People are writing in, I don't know what it is, but then coffee. People are writing in, do not buy it no matter what. But even the other coffee brands. Well, it's still, good, still price. good price. Six, seven euros yeah. for half kilo. It's good price. Um, if you guys want to get a great view over Helsinki and Espoo, I recommend going to Lucy in the Sky. Okay, maybe you can. Bit pricey, though. Fair. We've done some expensive restaurants recently. Uh, we haven't released the footage yet, but we're compiling a food video. So we've tried a lot of Finnish favorites. Uh, lingonberry. I guess, I guess for Finnish reindeer. people, they're normal prices. <laughs> for us, it's a lot. Yeah, it's more expensive. A little bit more than Canada. Canadian to eat prices out. to eat out. Yeah. Although we're going to pretty fancy places. We Not went, really. We went to one place just no. to eat. We went to one normal place. places. They're kind of fancy. Yeah, but other places are also... Okay, they're not super oh. fancy. That's fair. Anyway, yeah. we went to one place. Shout out to Alina, our biggest fan from Timmy Shwara. Hello, Alina. Um, we went to one place just to have the classic cinnamon bun. That'll be the first scene in our food video. You'll see coming soon. Yeah. It might be up Tuesday or Thursday this week. Um, they have a breakfast buffet there. Okay? Pretty simple breakfast buffet. They got some cake. They got some, they got some cold cuts. Mm -hmm. Some processed cheese sliced. I think they had like an egg, like an omelet station. It's 32 euros for breakfast buffet. Yeah. It's, it's a lot, no? It's quite expensive. So we didn't get the breakfast buffet. Even we the got... cinnamon bun, it was almost 6 euros. 6 euros That's for a expensive. cinnamon bun. To be clear, it was amazingly good In cinnamon Canada, bun. In Canada, it would cost probably maximum, probably like, like six bucks. for, no, maybe for USD. 6 Canadian. Okay, 6 Canadian, I mean, yeah. yeah. So which is like 3.5 euros. Yeah. It was a lot. Anyway, for the vlog, we got the cinnamon bun and the coffee. Uh, <laughs> how are you feeling, Steve? How's your back pain? Thank you. All the members know the back pain. Appreciate it, guys. <laughs> Getting better, still not perfect. <clears throat> kind of frustrated because I was ready to do exercise again, but I have not been to the gym at all. I've been doing yoga on the floor. Oh, yeah. That's why uh, some Finnish people are wondering why we were taking taxi, why we didn't take the train. It's yeah. because of Steve's back pain. I wasn't as interested. Well. Steve had a back pain. I injured my back worse than I've ever done in my life in Georgia. <laughs> and when we came to Finland, I wasn't even thinking about going on a train. I thought, I'm, I don't care about the money. I want to sit in a nice <laughs> Tesla, as it turned out, and go straight to my door. Yeah. I wasn't going to struggle with anything new. Right. My, <clears throat> my patience was low. We have a joke that... Uh, we ate it. I don't know what this word is. We have a joke that the Predidenti... Goes at the top conveyor. Mid price is president. Oh, I see. Ah, oh, I get it. Like different layers of cheese, different quality of cheese. Ah. Uh. Uh, yeah, the best thing you can do is keep stretching it out. 
Yeah, I've been doing stretching and the yoga poses, if you know yoga, cat and cow. I've been doing cat and cow a lot. And lying on my stomach and doing Superman. When you put your arms up and legs up, oh, stretch your back and then kick like you're swimming. My back is a little bit frustrating. Uh, which cities are you going to from Helsinki? Jet fan question. Good question. What's the itinerary, Maybe Tampere. Tampere. How do you say it? Tampere? Maybe we'll go to Tampere. Tampere? Whatever. I mean, it sounds French when you say it. You Tampere. said ta Tampere. It, it was wrong? I said Tampere was wrong. So maybe it's Tampere? Tampere? Tam right is how to <laughs> pronounce that city. Maybe we'll go there next. Tampere. 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 Tempere. Okay, maybe we'll go to Tempere. We'll see how good this um, this hockey video we're going to film today performs. The first hockey video was very popular. Very mm -hmm. good. We got one we're going to go see today. Maybe I'll edit it and post it today. Or maybe we have tomorrow morning. We'll see how I feel. And then we got another game on Tuesday. So we can... If they do well and the hockey wave is still going on views, we'll probably go to Tempere. Mm -hmm. Watch more hockey. That's the best team, evidently. Sure. And I know in the north, um, they have this Santa Claus village, but it's not Christmas. So I'm not sure if we should go there during this time because it's past Christmas. We should come back during the Christmas time, maybe. It sounds fun, the, <laughs> the Santa Claus village, but yeah. it's March. It's, yeah. the, it's the end of March. <clears throat> it's not the right time. Mm -hmm. uh, Jet fam question. When are you going to get a new hat? Never. Or mend this one. Look at this. This hat is not so bad, man. We went to like restaurants and then don't you feel embarrassed wearing that? The thing is, I don't see the hole. <laughs> if you look if you look in a mirror, you don't see the hole. <laughs> like people are dressed nicely and okay. then like... So here's the question, Ivana. Do you feel embarrassed that I'm wearing that? No, I forgot it. there's a hole. I don't feel embarrassed. <laughs> but I don't pass by your back, you know what I mean? That's what I mean. I don't see it, so I think it looks like a new hat to me. <laughs> That's ridiculous thing. Like. <laughs> now, here's a good Jeff Fan question uh, from Tom. Finnish is notorious for being one of the most difficult languages in the world. Can you give us some examples of basic words or phrases you've learned since you've arrived? Here's the thing. And Everyone then, speaks English over here. Yeah, that's true. At least in Helsinki, <coughs> the people who work in restaurants or the people who work in anything... Um, Even people passing on the street, they all speak English. Everyone speaks English. So yeah. we've learned exactly zero Finnish. Maybe we can I use... I know, yes, yo. <laughs> yes seems to be yo, yeah. which is pretty great. Maybe we can use this live stream. If there's anybody who speaks Taxi Finnish... Taxi drivers speak English. Everyone speaks English. Everyone speaks English. Yeah. What we can do is in this live stream, if you speak Finnish, you can teach us some basic Finnish and we can have some pronunciation challenge between Ivana and I. Because... Uh, we haven't learned anything. I mean, yo, seems like yo means yes. Yes. It seems like they say oi for hello. Maybe. Sometimes I hear oi. Oi is it's like Brazilian. Oi. A little bit bank. Brazilian in, in a, <laughs> yeah. Uh, another Jeff Fam question. What do you guys do for health insurance? We do safety wing. Safety wing. Yeah. Uh, moi is the common way to greet. Moi. Ah, uh, okay. It's like, yo, mo uh, moi. Uh, moi is like a, like a, not formal. Say, what are you saying? Moi. Okay, okay. Thanks. Kitos. 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 Okay, that's not so hard. Kitos. Like kurtos. Yeah. The food. Kitos. Okay, kitos. Got it. Moi. All you're going to learn is curse words. Nice. <laughs> I was thinking that would happen at the hockey game. All the crowd starts chanting or something, and it's going to be all swearing. When we went to Romania, we learned curse words too first. <laughs> uh, at the soccer game. Yeah, true. Football, sorry. Yes. Uh, are you coming back to Malaysia for Raya this year? I love that Twin Tower shirt, Ivana. Oh, yes. Shout out to Malaysia. Shout out uh, to KL. Nice, right? Uh, yeah. We're going to be back in Canada in a month or two, and then we're going to buy a bus and renovate it. We can't talk about the bus. I've talked about it too much. <laughs> but I will give you this fact. The obsession with the bus has subsided, but it's going to happen. <laughs> I'm not as obsessed watching videos all day, but we're going to buy a bus. Vowels are different from English. Ones that are A and O. Oh, there's, huh? there's, there's accents on the vowels. Okay. In your hockey video, I heard someone shouting in Finnish, go get a haircut. <laughs> you know why? There's a player on the ice who's got his hair down his back. Oh, I was really? going to comment on it in the video. It's a bit much to see. It's not my favorite. I mean, the guy's hair is so long. It's not, it doesn't seem like a hockey haircut. It's one thing to have some hair inside your helmet. Did you see the guy? Yeah. It was like covering his numbers on his shirt, on his jersey. 
the top part of the numbers was covered with his uh, hair. Oh. So somebody for sure was uh, cheering uh, or mocking him, I guess. Go get a haircut. Oh, okay. Moi Moi is bye-bye. Moi Moi, bye-bye. Okay. Not accent, <laughs> just different vowels altogether. Oh, gosh. You're jealous, Steve. You're right. I'm jealous of his hair. I wasn't the one shouting, get a haircut, though. I was the one shouting, nice hair. <laughs> uh, Carla in the chat. It's kind of polite. Hi, Steve. Natural phenomenon since 2016. <laughs> uh, you should go experience Finnish metal concert. So in an upcoming video, I um, uh, went to a church, obviously the famous rock church. And when researching the rock church, which you guys will see, we haven't posted it yet. We learned about something called metal mass. Which is mind-blowingly cool. Metal mass is traditional hymns that you would see in mass with uh, heavy metal, I guess, guitars and drums. Or guitars at the very least. And so it's a Christian, uh, Protestant, actually a Lutheran hymn, Lutheran mass with heavy metal guitars in it. If I can find a way to go to a metal mass, I don't know what the idea would be, how you make a vlog of a metal mass. But I would like to experience a Finnish metal mass. I'm not sure if they're every week, but I know there has check been. Their website right we got to check in some in some churches. Mm -hmm. I know. Um, um, I know that the Rock Church, which is super interesting, it's like excavated rock. They had a metal mass in the Rock Church, which would be an amazing. I mean, I'd like to have a, a metal mass experience. Mm -hmm. So maybe next Sunday we, in the morning we can do that. Potentially, we'll do the live stream for metal mass. Is that uh -huh. room? Maybe. Is it rude? I don't know. How are you going to do it? Just fire it up and let people jam. <laughs> you can't talk much, but you can even just type on the phone. Maybe it's rude. Because no one... I've never seen anyone... kind of rude. A couple much. clips and then you make a video of it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, we'll try to see if we can get some metal mask going because... um, um So interesting to me. Rule C saying, Hey, I have just started following you guys two days ago and I noticed you arriving in, arriving in Finland. Have you tried the Karelian pies yet? Blueberry pies and cinnamon buns are really delicious too. Did try. Yes. You'll see it in our upcoming food vlog. I will admit I tried Karelian stew also. And for the first five minutes I was eating it, I thought it was reindeer. And then when I said, no, it's pork. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I just talked for five I was going on about like, reindeer, man. And so that was a bit embarrassing. But yeah, some nice food we had. We had stewed reindeer. We had um, lingonberry and mashed potatoes and reindeer. We had the Karelian pie. Yeah. Which is blueberry. We had, I think in a couple days, we'll go to um, He's Burger, Hez Burger. Yeah. Simple food, but we'll, we'll do a long video. We'll compile it over many days, and then we'll release a compilation of all of our Finnish food. <laughs> How long will you be staying here in Helsinki? For sure, we'll be in Helsinki till Wednesday. We might extend, or we might go to Tempere. Well, we have a game next. What is the next game? Is Tuesday, 22. Tuesday, okay, 22. So 22, we're going to be at the game, IFK and the Pelicans. Okay. And then after that, maybe Wednesday or Thursday, we'll go. Yeah. We see. We're going to be busy this week. Tomorrow, 22 we're gonna, is not Wednesday. Tomorrow, we got to shoot. What's that? 22 is not Wednesday. 22 is Tuesday. Today is 20. No, it's not. Today is 17. Today is 17? What game do we get tickets for? Maybe we get, we get tickets for the 20th, sorry. Oh, gosh. So the tickets are on Wednesday. So are, do we have a game today? Yes, also today, but also Wednesday. <laughs> okay. Hey, caramba. I Sometimes I don't have a, oh, have a pint on me from Liam Smith. It will happen. There's no beer in the house right now. I've been uh, being a good boy because I'm injured. But when we go to the game, we're going to fire up a few beers in your honor, Liam Smith. Thank you. Thanks, Liam. I appreciate it. Slancher. Uh, Slanche. Slanche, I think. Thank you, Liam. We will have some um, uh, beer in your name. <laughs> Hello, look forward to see you guys again in Turkey. I'm sure we'll be in Turkey one day. Actually, funny thing about Turkey. I've transited through Turkey a few times. And every time I go there, I feel better and I feel mm -hmm. good. I think part of my soul was Turkish in a past life. <laughs> one time I left Pakistan, I had epic diarrhea, very sick. Got to Turkey, I was fixed. One time I left, yeah. I think we left... China, I had like a head cold, I had like a cold in my head, got to Turkey, I was fixed. Left Georgia on the way to Finland, my back was hurting me, in Turkey, I felt better. <laughs> I think I have a deep 
It's Somehow, uh, your healing space. It's my healing space, you know? Uh, big shout out mm. to Turkey. We really owe it to ourselves to do a big trip around Turkey because we've only ever seen Istanbul, which is a shame because the Turkey <laughs> would be so nice to go east, uh, more into the Middle Eastern side of it and see like Gobekli Tepe oh, and stuff. Plus one from Andre. Andre, thank you for your donation, Andre. Norok, Norok, Andre, thank uh, you. You haven't seen me mm. on Duolingo in a few days. I got to get back on Duolingo. Me learning Indonesian is like a fish learning to walk. It's just not happening. It's really a slow process, but I'm going to do it. Uh, it's my goal. I won't give up. Uh, listen to Steve Peeps. First he was Irish, then he was Portuguese, now he's Finnish. <laughs> true. I, 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 yeah, true. Uh. I do feel connected to Finland, too. A lot of similar things from... Well, also just snow and hockey makes me feel like I'm part of it. So I'm uh, in it. American English with Brent is saying, I watched your China videos yesterday, and... Hold on, I lost it. And I watched your China videos yesterday to prepare my upcoming trip. Thanks so much. Good. Yeah, I hope you'll enjoy China. It's a different world. It's a different world over oh, there. Oh, and he is also going to Brazil next month. Best place, dude. Go to Brazil. And he said, guess what? The new visa process for American and Canadian citizens is no joke. Really? In Brazil? Yeah. Oh, bummer. Because I thought it was only like an online e-visa. I thought it wouldn't be so complicated, but maybe it is. We'll see. We haven't gone to Brazil yet. I think Liam is calling. New visa. Liam is calling me an, an international man of mystery. <laughs> it's right. Uh, we'll make it to Brazil. We'll make it there. We'll do the visa thing. Talking about Brazil, Gear Unicentra is has asking, "How long have you not eaten acai?" Too long. Acai it's been a so year good. since acai. Yeah. Uh, I think, fingers crossed, I'll be bringing my lovely mother. So this is the idea. We're gonna be back in Canada. Oh, I can't tell the story yet. Never mind. I'll tell the story. But I think my mom is coming to Brazil. Some per some private news I haven't released yet. But I think... Look, my mom with the, says... With the bus. Might be going to Brazil. Not with the bus. With the bus. My mom and I might go to Brazil. My mom says she wants to travel again because the Malaysia, Vietnam, Indonesia trip was so good. And so uh, if you're in Canada, which we will be, the best place to go that's not far away is Brazil. Uh, Unicorn is asking, will you go to Stockholm? Probably Yes. I think so. Uh, Bruno says, next time you're here, we will have a beer. It's a date. It's a deal. You're buying. No, I'm kidding. Uh, yeah, sounds good. We'll do it. I saw one comment here. <clears throat> you are in a national Finnish newspaper this week about your hockey video. Is that newspaper called I-L-H-A? Ihateli? I forget how to spell it. But if that's the newspaper you're talking about, yeah, we saw that article. It was yeah. quite nice. It feels... um. Oh, no, a different one, maybe. Hel Helsinki Senomet. Oh. Oh, we saw one that was like an online article. I maybe there's see more. That one. Maybe there's more newspapers picking it up. Um, it does feel a bit weird when the newspaper, like a proper newspaper, is quoting the things I say. Because I'm saying nonsense. I'm so dumb. <laughs> you know, I'm like, like, they put quote marks and they, and they say. Remember? And how it's I, like, oh, I'm like, I'm such a fool. Why did I say that? <laughs> I remember the most memorable newspaper article was in Serbia. About Belgrade, when you said there are lots of dog poop on I know. the street. I know, and I'm like, why do I see these things? You know, this proper newspaper picks it up, and you can imagine some, like, you know, some nice couple at home, seven, 60 years old, reading the newspaper, and they see me talking nonsense. I go, I gotta smarten it up, dude. I gotta think before I speak more, you know? But yeah, we did get some, uh, I guess we got some newspaper coverage on the hockey video, which is good for us because the views are doing very well. Right now, it's at 66,000 views, which typically, this is a bit behind youtube but typically when you go to a new country it takes a few weeks for the views to go up because yeah. youtube has to figure out to stop showing the videos to the people of the old country mm -hmm. some people will follow you but most people don't and i think our georgian video is starting so right now I youtube is very confused up. the georgia series is very short because i was injured and fed up so the georgia series is starting to go up as well as the finnish series lucky for us the first video from finland the hockey one spiked up yeah which is very helpful to us because now we think we're kind of catching the finnish uh, yeah, talking about Georgia, wave. someone is saying, "Hey, bro, I watch all of your Georgia trip videos. Was pretty much, uh, was pretty nice. But if you really want to find out about Georgian vibe, you have to go a little into it." Yeah, we got to go back to Georgia. The thing was, we had rented a car, paid for it. We we're set to go on a big road trip in Georgia. We would have seen a lot of the country because geographically it's not so big. And we had a good ten days road trip planned. We we're gonna go, 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 
And then two days before they were going to pick the car up, I injured my back and I couldn't even walk. I was lying on the floor. It was a total debacle. And so we had to cancel the car, obviously. And then after that, we're thinking, should we extend the car and do this and, and or sorry, rebook the car and do this again? And we thought, we'll just go to Finland now because hockey's on and it's much easier for me to sit in a nice apartment here and do a hockey game and go home than it is to do a road trip with a bad back. Because road trip, you got to sit in the car for hours, five, six hours driving or something. And so road trip didn't seem like the right idea. Um, so we thought sports videos are best. You go to the arena, you leave the arena two hours later, and you get the video. Much different than a 10-hour road trip where you have breakfast, drive the car, go to a church, drive the car, go to the viewpoint, drive the car, go over there, blah, 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 It's blah, on blah, blah. Friday, Steve, not Tuesday. Are you going to the AFK? I think that's why you meant. It's on Friday. The game's on Friday? Your days is all messed up. Yo, Come what on. month is it right now? You want tickets. Why can't you figure out which day it is? Ivana, please. Okay, it's very complicated, okay? <laughs> um, there, There's an HIFK game versus the Pelicans. And I'm going to it. I bought the tickets already. Thank you. <laughs> when it is, I don't remember. I thought it was on March 20. Or maybe it's March 22. Uh, I can't remember. The kids got no brain cells left. Another uh, plus one from Andre. Andre! And Dimas got the membership. Dimas is back. Uh, this means your bus driving days are over, Steve. <laughs> no, absolutely not. By the time the bus is built, my back will be strong. I'll be doing back extensions. I'll be doing squats and deadlifts. And a bus is a dream that will not die. Uh, oh, American English with Brent saying, apply for that Brazilian visa at least 21 business days in advance. Oh, Thanks. gosh. Thanks for the tip. We'll do that. That's a bummer. Uh, HIFK away game is on Wednesday. Home on Friday. Okay, the game's on Friday. Okay. Did you know that? Yeah. 22. Yeah, because I need to extend the... Place. Did you send it? Not this one, but we had to book another place. We're gonna move. Yeah. When are we moving? On Friday. On Friday we move. Yeah. Okay, okay, so update. Now that I figured it out. Today we are going to Joker it. Five PM. Friday we're going to Um H I F K <laughs> versus Pelicans. That video will be up Saturday. Mm -hmm. Today's video might be up today if I feel inspired. Or tomorrow morning. Uh more hockey vlogs coming. Hopefully the views stay keep going. Because if the views are up, we'll keep going more and more games. So tell your friends to watch, everybody. Um, unicorn says, read my question, bro. <laughs> unicorn, unicorn, does whatever a unicorn can. Uh, oh my gosh, when is Jazz? 20 minutes ago? Sorry, I think I forgot what day it was and I, and I ignored the chat for too long. Is it true that Helsinki is the cheapest town, Stockholm is the most beautiful, and Oslo is the most expensive? Okay, let's ask the audience that, because yeah, I've only been to one been, of those places. We have never been to Stockholm and Oslo yet, so okay. we don't know. <laughs> so the, the idea is, um, how's it say again, Helsinki beautiful, no. Cheapest. Helsinki is the cheapest one. Stockholm is the most beautiful. Stockholm the most beautiful. Oslo the most expensive. Oslo, the most expensive. Let us know if you're from Scandinavia and you've been to those places. Uh, I cannot confirm or deny. Unicorn, I don't know. Sorry, Unicorn and Carla. I think I missed some of your comments. Uh, Helsinki? Unicorn says I'm stoned without smoking. Oh, gosh. I'm stoned on Helsinki, life, Unicorn. Uh, the price is comparable to Canada, I think. So it's hard to just analyze price because, for one, we should analyze price if we I were mean, to earn... In Toronto, not all of Canada, right. obviously. Obviously. And even the price... Two hours outside of Helsinki is probably way different. Yeah. Because the big cities are more. But it's hard to um, say if it's expensive or not. We can say as per our budget. But if you live here, you might earn high wages or low yeah, wages. Yeah, that, that's true. So you got to kind of analyze what other people are. The locals should analyze better, you know? Yeah. For us, uh, Helsinki is the value of what you get is good. It's not yeah. amazing. For me, I, when I compare countries, whether it's cheap or not, I compare it with the region in the area or... Like, for example, Finland is similar to Canada. I compare it with Canada. Makes sense. Like, economic you know development. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Same, same, same. Like, Malaysia with Singapore. I know people, Malaysia don't like to be compared with Singapore, but they're neighbors. Uh -huh, uh -huh. You know what I mean? They're similar. Or Indonesia. Or Indonesia you know or I mean? something. Yeah, or Korea and Japan or something. Yes. Similar kind Korea of countries. Korea and Japan. Okay, so... So, when I say it's expensive here, it's not... Or if it's cheap here, it's not comparing it with Canada. It's comparing with the countries that are on okay. their level. So we'll get a better idea coming <laughs> soon because we are planning on hopefully going to Estonia and Latvia, mm -hmm. Sweden and Denmark. Yeah. I'm boom, 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 Estonia, boom. I look up Airbnb is so much cheaper already. 
They call yeah. they call Estonia Little Finland, mm -hmm. which is kind of interesting. I guess it's across the water mm -hmm. there. Yeah, you can take the ferry. Is Finland an island? Stupidest question ever asked. Can you drive a car from Finland to Europe? Hmm? I don't even know. Yeah, I guess so. I think you can. I think connected to Russia, no? Yeah. And you can go that way around. Yeah. So you can go like east and south that way. Yeah. Got it, got it, got it, got it. I wasn't even sure about that. You can also through Sweden also. Mm -hmm. But I think right... Okay, you can. So you can go east and around through Russia or you can go west and around through Sweden. Mm -hmm. But you can't go straight across because... There's a water. There's a big Marco body of water. Saying Copenhagen probably is the cheapest and most beautiful. Denmark. Denmark, yes. Okay. Uh, and someone is asking, is Finland a happy country? They it, say it's the happiest it's ever. It's the happiest country in the world. I think people are friendly. People are. <clears throat> um, it's very funny what happens when we walk in the restaurant. They look at me. They speak Finnish, and I say sorry, hello. And then they go right to English, seamlessly. Mm -hmm. So it's a bit like what happens with Ivana in China. The difference is in China, they don't speak English. So they just keep speaking Chinese at Ivana. <laughs> She's like, I can't, I can't do it, man. And yeah. they're like, come on. So uh, we've well, met... Actually, there are quite like, a few immigrants here. Like from Asia or from yeah, in Helsinki. South Asia or from Middle East. It seems there to be... Quite yeah. a lot of immigrants in Finland. It seems to be the same uh, story. <laughs> In most countries, it's like yeah. taxi drivers, it's like food delivery, it's a lot of people in restaurants. Like it's like, it's almost like they're first generation immigrants, and right. they're getting a the simple job, and then they'll go up. You know what I mean? Right. Uh, but you see a lot of people like that. True. Oh. More more than I expected, but that might be a Helsinki thing. Probably in the small town of Finland, maybe less. Yeah, maybe. That maybe. might be true. It's similar in most countries. Uh, Carla wants your mom to come to Biaga. Said it's better than Rio. Uh, Steve, will we see Carla in Brazil? We can, mom. We can get. We can land in Rio for sure. We gotta see Rio. And we can get a car and drive to Biaga. Biaga is a nice place also. Also, we should go somewhere like totally different, like Pantanal or something. You know? Pantanal would be good. Yeah, that's in Sabna. We'll figure it out, mom. We'll get a nice itinerary. 10 or 14 days, mom. Stay tuned for my mom in Brazil. She's going to be drinking caipadinhas. She's going to be speaking She's gonna speak in Portuguese. Oh, that's exciting. My mom will be a riot. Sweden has a bridge between Sweden and Denmark. Oh, okay, okay. So logistically, it's sort of an island in the EU, but it's not a proper proper island. Oh. Like, like practically, it kind of is, but it's not. Got it. Pantanal is beautiful. Yeah, I think, we'll, I think saying, we'll try to see uh, come, Pantanal. Come in June and July during our St. John's Festival, Festa Junina, in Biaga. That's a big thing, I think. You should go. Can. Yeah. Are you going to the Joker 8 game? <laughs> yes, it's at 5 p.m. and it's today because I know how to use a calendar. And so, um, Yeah. We'll be at the Joker game. Uh, Joker versus Hermes, which is the Greek messenger god, isn't it? <laughs> Not sure. The Joker logo, I'm going to mention it in the video. Coolest logo ever. It's like a Joker hat with the four, you know, orange and yellow poof balls coming out. It's a nice, nice logo. Doesn't look very intimidating, but looks kind of interesting. Are they happy on their own or they just laugh at you? Maybe a misunderstanding. Uh, I guess Finnish people have this reputation for being the happiest people in the world. I don't know how you mention that. I guess somebody wrote a comment saying when that was released, the information mm -hmm. that they did a survey and the survey indicated that Finnish people were the happiest ever. Uh, the one guy wrote, he's a Finnish guy in the comments, and he wrote, all my friends and I, we all, when we saw that survey, we thought, who did they ask? I didn't do the survey. <laughs> who, who, who are these people that they asked? So I don't know if it's 100% the most accurate thing ever. Yeah, how do you count happiness? How do you measure it is also one uh, problem. Yeah, how do you but measure? like, who did you measure it with, you know? Yeah. So it's uh, unclear if the, how, the validity of that. I have had no bad experiences. They're friendly to me. But I, it doesn't stand out as the most, most happiest, you know? There is a something happiness index. What is it based off? What is it called? Yeah, how do you measure happiness? It's really tough. Huh. And also, is ha like, if you're just sitting at home eating chips and being lazy, that's happy. But it would be better if you were like, like, almost a better measurement would be like a meaningful life than a happy life. Like, yeah. having something you feel good about is better than, <clears throat> you know, drink some beers and sit on the couch to make you happy. Unclear about the happiness uh, thing. HT says, we're not happy. We're just content with our lives. That's what it is, I think. Okay, that sounds good. They're, they're just content with their lives. Sounds good. You know what I mean? In America, it's like protests everywhere. Maybe not here. <laughs> Also, I think I think in America and Canada, you should try and get lots of money. That's the idea. 
Like the way that television advertising is like, you're going to be happy when you get a big house. And also debt, maybe. Well, maybe people aren't dead. In America, credit card ads is like popping everywhere. Credit I've, cards, credit cards, American Express, credit cards. I've had the absolute joy of watching American football <clears throat> with people who are not from America. And it's their first time they've ever seen American football. So for one, they, they think the game is total nonsense and there's so many questions. And at some point I have to just say, I don't know, that's just the way the rules are. Because it's kind of arbitrary. But for two, all the commercials that come on, because I will go online and get the American broadcast, and they're amazed at the commercials. Mm -hmm. It's like fast food, medication, and debt relief. It's like the most common commercials. Mm -hmm. Mixed in with like potato chips and beer and Coca-Cola or whatever. But it's a lot of... Most people are amazed that there's so many commercials of medication. Oh, yeah. Like, why are they advertising medication? You go, yeah, that's, that's part of it. And yeah. like, well, that's wild. <laughs> and so it's quite fun. I've done it probably five or six times. I've watched an American football game with people who have never seen the sport. And uh, it's the whole time you're talking because they're so curious about, like, another debt relief commercial? How many people are in debt in America? I guess a lot of people are in debt because every third commercial is like, yeah. call now to consolidate your debt, you know? Yeah. Plus, maybe it's because, like, Healthcare, I mean, you guys pay with taxes, of course, similar to Canada, but healthcare and education is free here. You know what I mean? Yeah, pay with taxes, yeah. Even university, I think. In Canada, you pay for university. It's not free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, the level of education is higher in Finland, I'm guessing, than in Canada. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so, that, ma that makes it content. It has a good mix, maybe, of, like, socialism and, and capitalism. Yeah. Make people content. Good job, Finland. Are you going to other cities here? Well, I'm not sure. Still working on it. Maybe Tampere. Oh, that's the number one most recommended places to visit so far in uh -huh. Finland. Especially for the hockey. We got to yeah. see what the hockey video from today does and the one from Friday does. If they still go up, because I'm, I'm worried they saw it and they go, yeah, we know this guy. We, this video is going to be similar, each one. Mm -hmm. So I'm worried they might not click. But if we can get the hockey wave keep going, we will do a hockey trip in uh, Finland. And we can also do a hockey trip in Sweden, which would be good. Yeah. We can tie in some Swedish. I'm assuming there are playoffs mm -hmm. right now. I haven't even looked at it. But I'm assuming there'll be yeah, playoffs so, for a month so or something. Saying, uh, it's more about life satisf satisfaction, perceived safety, institutional trust, not about smile and sunshine. Oh, that was a good response. Let me see the yeah. message. Uh, these are the measurements here. Oh, oh. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Uh, safety, institutional trust makes sense. Like, do you trust the institutions, the police yeah. or the school system or yeah. the, you know what I mean? Uh -huh, uh -huh. It's not about smiles or sunshine. Yeah, so happiness might be the wrong word, actually. It's more like a satisfaction of your government. Satisfaction might be a better word. Happiness, life, you think of life like... Life quality, maybe? Something like that. Anyway, it's a good thing to have. Quality? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Shout out to uh, Finland. It's a good response. Thank you for the message because it was helpful. Uh, the chat is flying by here, guys. I'm trying to keep up, but I'm a little slow. Hey, if you can manage walking a short distance with your back, I recommend checking out the so-and-so cemetery. It's really close to your Airbnb. Okay. Uh, we can check it out. I can walk. Thumbs up for walking. Not Maybe not all day, but I can do it. Um... If you guys don't try Finnish sauna, your journey is incomplete. We will okay. do the sauna. Probably tomorrow when the weather is good, according to Google Maps, Google Maps, according to Google weather, tomorrow is 80% sunshine. So we will be going out and about doing our first impressions video where we will do some history, do some food and do some sauna down by the harbor. And then we'll hop on a boat and go to an island where there's a fort, which is pretty great. Finland is one of the top countries for educational attainment. Right up there alongside Singapore, Japan, Korea. And Finland has a unique school curriculum. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I think education goes a long <laughs> way for satisfaction. People have an educated population. It's hard to make a case having an educated population is a bad thing. Seems like it's a very good thing. Yeah. So university being affordable or accessible or even free. Free, quote unquote, pay with taxes. Uh, kind of good. I wonder what the hey, tax... Even, even in Canada, I had to pay my student debt when I get, get out of college. You know what I mean? Yeah. I did pay it off. Good job. But we have debt as soon as we get off college. You know, uh, so I wonder I what the tax Finland bracket is in Finland, if it's more than Canada. Mm. Canada, the average household pays 50%. Average household. Something like 48%. Uh, what the heck is the happiest country, says Carla. 
Carlos the best man. Uh, yeah, interesting. Good job, Finland. Anyway, we've had a good, uh, we've had a good, um, good first experience. Did you notice that Komarov plays for HIFK? I didn't notice it. I'll mention it in the next video. Uh, I remember Komarov on the Leafs. He was always like a, not a fighter per se, like drop the gloves and fight, but always stirring the pot and talking smack and after the whistle grabbing somebody. He was always getting under the team, the other team's skin, which was sort of uh, fun to watch. He was like a fan favorite, I think. Leo Komarov. If I knew he was on IFK, I would have mentioned it. I'll mention it in the next video because it's another, um, not a Canadian player per se, but a Canadian connection to Toronto at least. Uh, baby box is free for all new babies. We saw that on TV. Uh, the baby, when you give birth, they give you a baby box. It's a big box full of all the stuff you need, diapers and everything. Diapers. And then, and then when you take the stuff, clothes. and then you take the stuff out of the box, you can use the box to put the baby to sleep in. Mm -hmm. It's like a little crib almost. Baby box is a cool idea. Uh, tax, 1%, uh, if you're low income. Yeah, so maybe the tax is the same like uh, Canada, progressive tax, where once you make like around 100 grand, you gotta pay half. Um, cool, man. Shout out to Finland. I'm glad to be here. It's been a good start. Also, the hockey video doing well is very good for me because I'm interested in making more hockey videos. Fun for me. Like he says, there's a Pakistani restaurant there, I bet. Is there a Pakistani restaurant in Finland? I think there is. International food scene is very... Like, we see a lot of international restaurants here. Especially sushi. There's a lot of sushi restaurants. And, and tacos. Nepalese cuisine restaurants. Momos. Nepal. Nepalese momos. Tacos and sushi are the top three foreign foods you've seen in Finland. Yeah. That's interesting, right? Yeah. I wonder why tacos caught on. Sushi makes sense. There's ocean all around and it's probably good fish. With good salmon. With good salmon and cold water. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. And then, and then lakes all around and rivers and everything. Um, the Nepalese is random too. How did the Nepalese catch on? I don't know. Maybe Nepal? they got they got mountains over here and the Nepalese come to climb the mountains. Or Maybe lots I don't know. of fin Finnish people go to Nepal to do hiking. I don't know. Oh, interesting. But lots of Nepalese restaurant. There's a Pakistani restaurant in Espoo. Maybe we'll go do a Pakistani food. We have a good Pakistani audience, and every time we do Pakistani food, the, juice, the views jump up. So maybe we'll do a Pakistani restaurant just for some, some views. What playoff game will you attend? Today, we're going to Joker at Hermes. On Friday, we're going to IFK and Pelicans. Are there many vegan meals in Finland? Uh, the chat can let us know. Yes, I think so. We saw some vegan food in the we restaurant. We see lots of the... salad bars as well. As Salad well as bar. like bar food, burgers and wings, things like that. True, burger bar. They have good burgers here. Yeah. Finland so far has been pretty good to us. Uh, your hockey video was mentioned in a tabloid. Yeah, we saw that one. That's pretty cool. And I guess a newspaper too, which is exciting for us. Uh, the baby box. Clothes, diapers, bathtub, winter clothing, and even a mattress so the box can serve as a crib. Oh, nice little uh, baby box. Yeah, Finland, this is why I'm thinking when I said Canada times Japan equals Finland. Because there's things about Japan where I go, they just do it right, man. <laughs> and when you hear that Finland is the happiest country ever, obviously it's because they're doing it right. They got some good leadership in the politics. They got some good families, some good people making, you know, good communities. You know, uh, I think Canada times Japan equals Finland is not the worst take ever. Yeah. I wonder, though, if because in Japan, the work work life balance is horrible. This is the problem with Japan. We have some Japanese friends, and they said the demanding work schedule is unbelievable. How about in Finland? Is it similar? I wonder. Probably not. If they have more socialism, you would you would have more social safety net. It wouldn't be so demanding, you would yeah. think. You could have more time off, maybe some more paid vacation. Oh, yeah. And being a European country, nobody, like, almost nobody smokes here. <laughs> True. No smokers for Europe. A lot of... A lot of smoking in Europe, but not in Finland. Yeah. Maybe it's too cold. I mean, to go outside and smoke. It may be different if you can smoke indoors. But even in Canada, once they made the law where you can't uh, smoke indoors, I think smoking went way down because out in the minus maybe 20. it's expensive like, as well. I don't know. <laughs> it is a bummer. Oh, maybe expensive too. Yeah, yeah, true. Finland is the opposite to Japan in work culture. Yeah. Oh, so very laid back and easy going. Yeah. Which is kind of impressive because how do they That's get so... It's, it's happy. How can you Less not be work, more sauna, dude. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, cigarettes are expensive in Finland. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, Canada the same. Canada cranked up the prices, so the taxes on the cigarettes, 
and they uh, and they made it illegal to go inside. And young people in Canada don't really smoke. They do vaping. Let me know the sta- status of vaping in Finland. Mm-hmm. Because in Canada, it's caught on a lot. Uh, unclear whether vaping is better than smoking. Can't be worse, can it? Is it healthy, though? I don't know. <laughs> vaping is a new, uh, you know. We drink a lot. That's why we're happy. Hey. <laughs> Sounds good. Let's have a beer. I was going to get some beers for live stream. Typically, I like to drink beer with you guys. But I'm going to the hockey game at 5 p.m. have some beers over there. And I want to be sharp and working. I don't want to be half asleep yeah, over Nokia, there. Nokia, connecting people. Exactly. Nokia is the hockey arena, right? Yeah, and also the phone. Uh, in Norway, they have to finish work at 4 p.m. No one does anything more than that. It's mandated. Whoa. Norway also similar to Finland, I guess, in that sense. Yeah. Oh, I'm not sure about the South, but a lot of people up North use the Swedish snooze. You know snooze? Snooze, I believe, is is tobacco. I think you put it in your lip. Hmm. Or maybe you even put it in your nose. Anyway, it's a form of tobacco, but it's cheaper. Cigarettes and alcohol are taxed to death in order to limit usage. Fair. Oh, yeah, fair. The beer talk. prices in Finland are not ideal for a beer guy like me. Yeah. I found it's a better. Expensive. I found a better can. The one I saw in the grocery store was the best one I found. I found a better one. Especially in restaurants, they're expensive. In your restaurants, crazy. More in, expensive than Canada. Crazy. In the grocery store, I found a better one. It's one point three euros for a small can. That's my best deal so far. Which is not still not great. A buck fifty American. Mm-hmm. In the states would be half that. In Hong Kong, dude. Hong Kong is beer drinking paradise. Fully developed, everything clean and good, and lovely place. And the beer is like less than a dollar for a big can. But coffee is very expensive but, in Hong Kong. But coffee in Hong Kong is crazy. It's like 20 bucks for a kilo. <laughs> yeah. Half kilo, I mean. That's funny, right? So Finland has switched with Hong Kong with alcohol and, and coffee prices. <laughs> they flipped it. Hey, Steve, you have to lose the hat, man. It's too worn out. This hat is taking too much hate, and it's getting on my nerves. Um, oh, so yeah, the, the logo in the front is turning yellow, dude. That hat is kind of gross. Yeah, uh. All right, I'm over that hat. Uh, oh, you know what we'll do today? I'll buy a Joker hat. But you're going to the other team? Ooh. Okay, guys, okay. vote in the chat. Joker hat or IFK hat? <laughs> you can wear it to the other game then. Oh, I gotta buy one of each now. Maybe you can buy a Joker and I'll buy an Just IFK. Just buy a Finland national team. Oh, maybe I'll buy a Finland hat. I don't know how they sell it though, the club teams. Uh, Finns have a lot of holidays. Most people get a month off in the summer. That's very nice. Canada only gets two weeks, Max. Yeah, two weeks. Uh, here's a nice comment here. In the, a year, in one year. The Two baldness weeks. is blinding. Banned from the channel, I'm not kidding. Okay, okay. Joker it, Joker it. Uh, IFK, Joker it. Uh, IFK, Joker it, IFK. It's like a 50-50. I think Joker is winning. You cannot wear an IFK hat at Joker game. Okay. IFK hat, never do Joker it with an asterisk. Uh, It seems like Joker is winning the vote here. <laughs> but they're actually huge enemies. When they played the same league, they're enemies. Finnish national team hat might be the way to do it. Okay, I'm going to try to get a Finland hat. And then I'll wear it to Sweden and I'll get beat up and say, thanks a lot, guys. <laughs> you won't need a hat sooner. Uh, soon it'll be back to this baseball hat time or like summer hat. But Plus one for the national team hat. Okay, we'll probably do a national team. I did see one comment. I like the fact that you're... The fact that you're still wearing the MC hat. So there was some love for the MC hat, but um, <laughs> but not much. Hey, Steven Ivana, just dropping in from KC. Shout out to KC. Hello, KC. Can you drink tap water in Canada? I believe, and this, just to be clear, I'm not a waterologist or anything, <laughs> but I believe Canada has some of the cleanest and most healthiest drinking water in the world because we have more fresh water than anyone. Did you know, oh, yeah, that's true. and you won't believe this, but I know this to be true. In fact, I think it to be true. I don't really know it. I believe Canada has more lakes than every other country in the world combined. Can you Google that? I don't think that's right. Okay. That sounds wrong, right? No, but that I, sounds right. I believe that Canada, Canada has lake. more freshwater lakes than every other country in the world combined. Let's Google that. That sounds so. like a wrong. I mean, it's, it's an amazing thing. Unless Canada China has more lakes. Has, no, 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 no. Has more. Let's see if they finish my thing. Canada has more lakes than. Um, Canada's got almost 900,000 lakes, okay? The next one is Russia with 200,000. Mm. 
Um, okay, I'm not sure it's more lakes than every other country in the world combined. Yeah, yeah, okay, here it is. You know Snopes? Snopes is a website that... My phone's broken. Snopes is a website that checks out uh, if claims are true or false. Canada has more lakes than all other countries in the world combined. You see? Let's scroll down. False. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have the most lakes in the world. That's true, but not more lakes than other countries all combined. Anyway, my point is the tap water is very good. In fact, I was gonna mention, maybe I'll mention our first impressions video. Since we've been here in Finland, I have been drinking tap water and I love me a glass of tap water. <laughs> Ivana and I travel a lot, like almost all year, like 11 months of the year. And a lot of times we're in a place where you have to buy bottled water and it is a bummer, dude. Yeah. Buying bottled water, Okay, for one, you get the plastic bottles, bad for the environment. Uh, but also just bummer. It just doesn't taste as good. It doesn't feel as good. You got to put it in the fridge. Just a faucet with the hot and the cold. And you put the cup right there and drink it. It really is the best. Mm -hmm. So I am glad to be here in water drinking Finland. Andrew Chong is here too. Shout out to Andrew Chong. Yes, I was scared. You're going to do the Northern Lights. Uh, we'll see. I don't, I don't think, someone was saying last week, it's not the right time. Yeah, it's Winter kind of, time is the best. Uh, coming We're to spring now. Spring, although it's still snowing, but it's spring. <clears throat> There's a town to the west of Helsinki called Masala. Oh, Masala. Mm. They probably got a Pakistani restaurant over there. <laughs> Will you go to a Canadian games, to a Canadian's game with a Maple Leafs hat and not get ridiculed? I wonder. I've never been to a... Habs game. Uh, I don't think it's too aggressive in the Canadian crowd, though, because it's so expensive for the seats. People it's not a lot of hooligans. Yeah, the national team hat. That's what I'm going to go for. People are saying. Um, which means in today's video, I'll be wearing the MC hat. I can't go with this bald head in a hockey <laughs> arena with my ears turning red. So the MC hat will live to see another video, at least. One more. Now I'm stuck on that site, Snopes, seeing what caffeine looks like under a microscope. <laughs> You're on a Snopes wormhole. <laughs> Canadians and aggressive. Yup, doesn't compute, says Carla. Can, they can be aggressive. Young people, when they're drinking, can be a little aggressive. There was a time where the Vancouver Canucks, okay, a hockey team in Vancouver, they lost in the finals, and there was like a mild riot in the street with cars being flipped over and a bunch of uh, vandalism because their hockey team lost. So we can get a little wild. Put on your MC hat, Steve. You need another MC hat on top of that one to cover the hole. Now that's a good idea. Double MC hat. Uh, I will grab it. The Helsinki tap water comes from one of those thousand lakes. I'm, I'm not. Sounds Italian, you say it. <laughs> hey, Paisano. Uh, I won't even try because I'm going to get it wrong. Uh, fantastic, guys. Good. Arrange an auction for the MC hat. Uh, Canadians, the MC hat, I loved it so much, but I think it is getting gross. People are mocking me. Maybe it's going to be rest in peace soon. How's your back condition, Steve? Uh, not great, but getting better. Not perfect yet. I'm kind of frustrated. I thought by now I would be ah. running and jumping. Yeah, this is why. Have you, have you, have you tried the Finnish coffee? We're the only country where the majority drinks light brew and many tourists are turned off by it. Light Our brew? coffee culture is about quantity. That's why we went to a cafe and I thought, this is not strong it at all. It was like coffee mostly milk. Like, cafe latte was mostly milk. Yeah, I'm like, I, it, this, the coffee is good, but it needs to be stronger. The, the, the color of the cafe latte was the color of like a two by four. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It was colored like light brown. It should be dark. It should be like a dark chocolatey dark color. Yeah. It looked like it was 80% milk. I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of the coffee here in the cafe. We make our own coffee at home. We make our own. We I will say this. Strong. I guess the idea would be you just have two or three cups. I will say this. In our accommodation, the coffee cups here, I mean, you've never seen it. Should I, bring, should I get it? It's the most unbelievable size you've ever seen. <laughs> it's, it's bigger than a soup bowl. Someone says that Finnish people consume the most coffee per capita in the world. And they drink like four cups a day. But it's weak coffee. But it's weak coffee. That's, That's why, because the coffee cups here, I'm telling you it's bigger than two cups in this accommodation. Mm -hmm. You have one cup and it's like too much. I think I gotta make it weaker. Right. 
now I know the, the, the finished experience. Got it. I like my coffee black, no sugar, just a little cream. Same like me. Not black, but coffee and cream. Best. No sugar. Mild taste, but just as much caffeine. Oh, that's the, that's the strategy. Finnish coffee, something new. I will say this. We've been around the world trying coffee. A lot of countries will rave about their coffee, and most of it's bad. True, right? <laughs> Turkish coffee. No offense to Turkish people. It's bad. Vietnamese coffee. No offense to Vietnamese. It's bad. Right? <laughs> Italian coffee, kind of good. I could go for Italian coffee. Italian coffee is good. But I really just... Maybe because I was born and raised, you know, on just the Canadian coffee. Bunch of, bunch of water in it. A big, tall coffee. But it's strong. Strong with cream. Yeah. No espresso. I, I, I still prefer my original home brew, you know? I used to drink six to eight cups of coffee when I was a teenager. That's wild. Um, wow. Now I drink below average, only two cups. I recently had to do an intervention with myself. I was getting to three to three slash four cups every day. And now I'm down to one cup max. I have one cup of coffee and that's it. I sometimes push for two. But I had to have an intervention because I was hooked. I was drinking a cup of coffee, my last one at 1.30 p.m. Oh, someone is saying tapio. Light blue is stronger in caffeine, though. Light blue is stronger in caffeine? Mm. Interesting. Whoa, I didn't think that. I thought it would be less. Mm. I didn't think that. Interesting. So, so Finnish people have a lot of caffeine, then. Should get four cups of that? Yeah. My hands would be shaking. You know? That's why they're happy. What? Vietnamese and Turkish coffee rocks. The problem with Turkish coffee, the flavor is good. But the idea that you put the ground beans in the cup you're drinking from. Yeah, Steve doesn't like the, the grind in worse. the same cup. <laughs> put a filter and get rid of those. Like The idea that at the bottom sip, your teeth get all gritty and brown. That's not an improvement. <laughs> that's worse. <laughs> anyway, when we're in Turkey, we drink Turkish coffee, no problem. But uh, And Vietnamese coffee is like a candy bar. It's like, it's like eating up Snickers for breakfast. Have you tried dipping finished cheese in your coffee? No. But we did try something called cheese bread. Bread cheese? Yeah. Pretty good. With the cloud berry jam. Um, pretty good. You'll see it in an upcoming video. <clears throat> pretty darn good. I like cheese. I like jam. I liked it. Mm. I liked it a lot. <laughs> I'd go for it right now. Bread cheese is exactly the cheese that some people dip into coffee. I thought so. That's why I mentioned it. It seemed like it would go... It's bread. <laughs> but the thing is, why is it called bread cheese? It's not really bread. It's just cheese, I think. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Um, I have no idea. It's it good. It's just cheese. Well, I don't know what is bread. Is there any bready stuff in it? It kind of looks like, like bread, I guess. I guess. Mm. Um, well, then you cut it. You got cheese. It can look like bread. Carlos, so funny. <laughs> cheese plus coffee. Yep. Now we know why Finnish cuisine is not very well known as great in the world. <laughs> Carlos, a hater, man. Cheese and coffee can go together. Give it a chance, Carla. It might be. Oh, yeah. It might hit the spot. So I'm saying my family, my family don't drink a lot of coffee, but drink energy drinks like crazy. True. We should have shown that in a supermarket. Yeah. Energy drinks. Uh, like People a walking big around section. with a big monster energy. <clears throat> Which what's in monster energy? Just vitamin B, isn't it? I don't know what what gives you the energy. I don't know. Probably a lot of sugar. But I they guess. had a big section in the I, supermarket. We should have showed that in the supermarket. We missed that on our video. Like like a huge section of monster, like ten different flavors of energy drink yeah and like local brands other brands Rainbow, yeah everything that was a fail we should show that in our, uh, our uh, kissy uh, saying i miss my ipo white coffee ipo white coffee mm. uh you gotta try the bread cheese yes yes mm. yes we tried it vade you'll see the upcoming video it was really nice um it's it's like a soft cheese my understanding is it's made from the milk of a young no, it's made from the milk of a cow that just gave birth. Mm. I think I tried to say it in the video, but I think I said it wrong. I might have to cut that part out. But, um, <laughs> yeah, it's good cheese. And it comes with this unique jam from a fruit that I've never seen. <clears throat> Those energy drinks are poison. I thought so, too, but I wasn't sure if I was going to say that. Energy drinks and vaping is the new wave. It used to be coffee and a cigarette. In Canada, uh, we call something the breakfast of champions. If you have the breakfast of champions, for breakfast, you have a coffee and a cigarette. <laughs> That's a breakfast champion. I think the modern breakfast of champions, the, the millennial breakfast of champions is monster in a vape. 
god. I think that's the breakfast of champions nowadays. Times change, you know, oh, but yeah, still the same saying, idea, but sorry, they still change. Someone is saying, you got to try a bread cheese, the package you saw on the yeah, yeah, yeah. thing is cloudberry. Yeah, we saw that. Not and we had corn. It. it did look like corn. It looks like a bit of a pop, like an orange popcorn or something. Yeah. But we, we tried it with the orange jam on top. It was <laughs> super nice. When I was 15 or so, I used to drink energy drinks mixed with whiskey. Yeah, that's actually in Canada, that's officially illegal to sell that. You can't sell Red Bull and vodka. They can sell you a Red Bull and a vodka and you can mix it yourself, but they can't mix it for you. Yeah. Because if it you was go to a bar, you cannot ask for Red Bull and... Or the one common one was, was Jägermeister. Rum. No, no, it was Jägermeister and Red Bull. Yeah. It was called a Jägerbomb. Remember? Yeah. I remember I used to do Jägerbomb at the bar, but not anymore. I you guess. can't. They can sell you the Jäger and the Red Bull and you can do it. Yourself. You can mix yeah. it yourself, but they can't hey, mix it anymore. Plus one from KC. Because, um... Plus one from KC. Thanks, yeah. KC. Woo! Thanks, buddy. Um, yeah, I mean, what, what a combination of things in your body. One thing is making you drunk, falling asleep, and one thing is making you energetic. Mm -hmm. Now you're just a menace to society out there. Um, Someone also said, you should, the Finnish candy aisle is also something I haven't seen anywhere else. Yeah, we should do that too. I think we'll do a snacks video. I think maybe, um, so somebody asked, when is your next video being posted? Listen, uh, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, we post videos. We've been doing that for years. Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Now, when it comes to an event video like a hockey game, we post it as soon as possible after the game. Because um, if you wait till the next Tuesday or something, nobody wants to see a, a game that was played last week. So there will be some change in our schedule for all the hockey videos we're doing soon. But Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday is our upload schedule. Um, now, the question was... Um, uh, what was the question I was trying to answer? Anyway, I forgot. But that's that's the uh, that's the idea. What are you talking about? I have no idea. Nobody knows. Anyway. Uploading videos. Yeah, uploading videos. And um <clears throat> forgot. Tom anyway. Says coffee is better than energy during. In terms of your health. Yeah. I think it's right. Yeah. I, I think, think so. I actually I, I don't I, I don't like the taste of energy drink. It got that flavor. You know what I mean? To be honest, they taste so good. Like plasticky flavor. It's so good. The red, the original what? Red Bull flavor, I think is the most delicious no. thing. But it also tastes totally fake and not real. But it's the most delicious thing ever. I don't have Red Bull. I haven't had one in years. But it, the flavor is like, they've they've got the best scientists in the world like to engineer the most flavor. delicious thing. I don't thing. like that guarana flavor. Okay. Sometimes they have acai mixed with guarana. I don't like it. I prefer just the original acai. <laughs> You're an oh natural lady, Ivana. Beer is better, period. <laughs> Carl is the best. It's drunk by humanity much before coffee. True. I learned that, and this might be true or not. Maybe we'll snopes this. I learned that like a thousand years ago or more, even 500 years ago, beer was like 2% and wine was like 5-6%. Mm. Now beer is 5-6% and wine is 18%. Wow. But back then they didn't have double distillation. So back then it was a different, you know, beer is like 2% back then. It was like... It was like uh, half as it was now. Anyway, fun fun fact. How long have we been live? Just over an hour. Okay. Would say Sweden in the spring is right at the corner. <clears throat> if you're in for that sort of stuff. I think we'll go to Sweden after this. I want to do Latvia really badly because there's a chess player from Riga who is one of the best chess players ever. And he's known as the magician from Riga. Nobody on YouTube, will, nobody in our audience cares about this guy. <laughs> but I'm making a video about Mikhail Tal. So I think I'll do, I want to go to Riga. Ever since from 20 years ago, I knew the magician from Riga. And I thought, wow, the magician from Riga. Now that I'm so close to Riga, I feel like I have to go to Riga. Sure. So I think we'll do... We can um, take the ferry to Tallinn. And then take the train to Riga. Yeah, that's a good little series. And then fly to Stockholm. This is the idea. And then from Riga, fly to Stockholm. And then go to Copenhagen. Train to Denmark. Yeah, and then fly to Netherlands, Netherlands probably. Amsterdam. I think that's yeah. going to be our route. We haven't bought anything yet, but that's the <clears> idea. <throat> I know Riga is probably not much to do and probably nobody cares, but we could do a couple of videos in Riga. Supermarket tour, talk about Mikhail Tal. Mm -hmm. The train on the way there is a video. Come on, that's a week of work over there. Yeah, I'm ready for it. Red Bull is originally a drink made for Thai boxers uh, that the owner brought to Europe and started to sell a carbonated. Mm. Wow, interesting. Breakfast of champions for Carla. She's having a Stella right now. Oh, Carla yeah. is just is just the most interesting person in the world. 
You gotta prepare your mom if you're gonna meet Carla. Oh, my mom will try to keep up with Carla, and it'll be the best video ever made. Yes. <laughs> Jermala, if you go to Riga, it is a quiet coastal town in Latvia, and I fell in love with it. Okay, Jermala. Yeah. Tom Whoa, also said he, he loves Riga. Yeah, Tom said he was in Riga before. <clears throat> uh, I would go to Riga. I want to. Yeah, Liam is just, just asking, where are you going next? It would be cool to go the Viking route. Sweden, Norway, Denmark, Faroes Island, Scotland, and Ireland. More info on Faroe Islands, please. What the heck are they? Is that a country? It's Denmark. It's part Ooh, of... Ooh, let's yeah, guess. Faroe Islands. Okay, first of all, where is it? It's in between mm. It's in between Denmark and Iceland or something? Or is it up north, Faroe Islands? I've definitely heard Faroe Islands before, but I got, I got about 1% of my brain figured out what it is. I think it's near oh. Iceland more. Okay. Let me know more about Faroe Islands. Maybe we'll check it out. I feel like flying there would be expensive, though. Whenever the country's name has the word island in it, it's expensive. Like... Virgin Islands are like, you know what I mean? Marshall Islands. It just becomes very expensive to fly there. Uh, have you tried Salmiaki yet? Not yet. I think we will make a whole video trying Finnish snacks. So Salmiaki, uh, black licorice stuff, maybe some ice cream stuff. I guess Finnish people, we heard that they eat more ice cream than anyone else in the world. Which at first glance, it made no sense because it's like, it's so cold over here. And I thought, maybe that's why they eat so much of it, because you can, it doesn't melt. You know, you can eat it all day, all year. Whereas, like, in Brazil, you can't eat ice cream, because it'd be melting in two minutes. Don't know. Um, if you're heading to Stockholm, you need to take the ferry there. Five out of five video content. Is there a ferry to Stockholm from Latvia? Is Latvia on the water? I think so. I don't know. They said the ferry is good content. Five out of five. Maybe we'll do the ferry. Plus, it's better for us because the flight video is kind of boring. Everyone's seen it. But, oh, the booze ferry. They got a party ferry. Oh, Ooh, party ferry. We'll look into that. You had me at party. You had me at booze. Uh, yeah, we'll look into that. The booze ferry. Are you crazy, says Carla. If it has island on the name, it's not worthy. <laughs> Faroe Islands is between Norway and Iceland. Okay, I was kind of in the right area. Mm. How did Denmark get Greenland? It's Denmark, right? Denmark is a small country, but they got Greenland somehow. Good for them. You need to try Salmiaki booze. Yeah, maybe we'll do a Salmiaki video. Or like a snacks video. Yeah. But sure. I, think, I think tomorrow... That's what I was going to say earlier. Got it. It all's coming back to me now. Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. Sorry. Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday is our videos. On the days in between, there'll be f hockey videos, as well as we'll do a post on our channel saying, if you're Finnish, write in your favorite snack. But try to write something that's Finnish. Don't just say, like, Snickers. And then we can do a snacks video. Yeah. I think Finnish people will watch a snacks video. We've done before. So it does well. And Serbia did well. Okay, stay tuned for a snacks video. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Do you plan on meeting up with Kennebrot again? We will always see Kennebrot again. He is our YouTube brother from another mother. Mm -hmm. And so I'm sure we'll see him uh, ferry to Tallinn and then drive to Latvia. And maybe also Lithuania. Name your top five facts about Lithuania. Latvia. Name your top five facts about Lithuania. Lithuania? I don't know. They're good at basketball. I don't know anything. <laughs> they have their own language. Uh, that's so all I know. They have a lake, maybe? They have a lake? <laughs> Probably they have a lake. That's true. Okay, that counts. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thanks for watching our live stream. We're going to go rest for a little bit, and then we're going to go hit the Pelicans at the Joker It game tonight. Mm -hmm. Joker It, Joker It. Now it's 3.10 over here. we got to leave here at like 4. Wait, wait. No, it's... What time is it now? 3.10. Yeah, maybe. Okay, we can leave here in like half an hour. Yeah, I'm going to Joker tonight. Hopefully it's tonight. I bought tickets, but I can't read the calendar, so I might be off by a day. I think Joker it is tonight versus Hermes. Herms. Have a nice rest and lots of fun at the match. Thanks, Alexandru. Petru. Thanks, bro. My Discord brother. We got the hearts from Unicorn with the Brazilian hearts in it today. Thanks, everybody. We got travel safe from my dad. Coming. Um, good stuff, everybody. Thanks for watching. We'll be back next week with another live stream. We will not be in Helsinki, or will we? Next week, yes. We'll 
we'll be here. Okay, still well, different accommodation. Maybe. Yeah. We have no idea where we'll be. Stay tuned to find out. We'll see. <laughs> see you next week. Bye. Bye. We're going to do 10 more seconds so we end right on 70 minutes. That's pretty great. Sure. Then it'll say, it'll look very official on the, on the YouTube thumbnail. It'll look like, man, they got it all together. Oh, where's the X? I'm going out of time. Ah! Good night from Malaysia.